curative drawing thing where I'm teaching evolution but not really teaching it. It's uh, you're sort of experiencing it in a very condensed. Uh, normally it takes like an hour, but here I, I truncate it. It's like a game uh, telephone where you whisper to people, and by the end it's it's different, but because people keep changing it along the way, so it works that way. But every time we uh, we make copies, and then I eliminate the copies, and then uh, everyone selects a copy. So that's kind of like a natural selection thing. And when I eliminate them, it'll be like. Uh, say it's an ice age or something, and so they all die. Uh, this is a little bit different because I, I again, I speed it up. But, so basically, this would be like a a family tree. So they made copies and chose this one. And they made copies and chose that. So one. when you say make copies, you don't mean photocopies. You mean like they do the same flower and they draw it again. Yeah. So they, you just keep drawing, but obviously the drawings aren't going to be perfect. So they're like mutations. Oh and wow. As we keep going, it keeps changing and. And people get bored and they start deviating and uh... That is pretty cool. <laughs> so, from here, we went to here, and then from there. And there's, there's an actual orchid that looks like a bee, and so that's kind of like the end result of this. So they were choosing ones Like a bumblebee? Look, so they were choosing ones that look more bee-like, so you can see this one kind of looks like a bee. And this one looks more like a bee. I love that one, I think that's my favorite. That one looked the most like a bee. You're just drawing, and then I, I take all of these and uh, scan them and put them in a computer, sort of fly through like a 3D space and put it to music and it's done. Awesome. We'll, we'll treat this as B vision. So when you look around, the colors obviously look different. And so this is kind of like what a bee would see. So. Looking at these, which flower stands out the most that a bee would be able to see a little bit better? So out of these two, which one do you think stands out the most? The red one. This one? Okay. So now, copy this flower. We try to use colors that the bee vision will, will see easier. So, try to figure out which colors stand out the most. That flower looks very bee-like. That's a very bright flower. Now we started with sort of a regular kind of everyday orchid. But over time, uh, we ended up with all these sort of guys. So that's how it would happen in nature too, where when we look at the uh, at the flower, and to us it obviously looks like a bee, and to the bee it looks like a bee. But it didn't start out that way. And you can still see where there's like petals and little parts of the flower that are flower shaped, but it still looks like it has eyes, kind of. Uh, but it just got that way over time, like slowly. And a little bit at a time, it looked more like a bee. So because it looked more like a bee, the bees went to it. So it could keep breeding and keep making more flowers that look more like bees. And it just keeps going that way forever. So I guess at some point in the future, it would just keep looking more and more like a bee to the point where it would just look exactly like a bee, or as close as it could. But it starts out sort of relatively basic. It's like a bee on a bee on a Right, right, right. So the bee goes to it and then he's like, hey, there's no bee here. But now he has pollen all over him. And so the flower gets what he wants and he's, he's happy.